Howdy, it's Tupel Kane again, and in this video we're going to visit a steam fair in Edgerton, Wisconsin, and I actually visited here before I made these other videos, and you want to be sure and check these out, and that is the, uh, the two videos where I visit Bushnell, Illinois, and go to the power plant, so this is rather... Uh, an addition or an addendum to those videos and if you like these big monster engines especially Fairbanks Morse and there's a Worthington here too take note of these engines they're not running except for one smaller one at the very end but they're uh, they're static displays but they're magnificent machines and I'm so thankful that they were saved from the scrap man so take a look That's the generator that excites the fields, I believe is what it is, and there's the main generator. Holes to put a pry bar in to turn it over, and it's four cylinders. Six cylinders. T-bone, or dog bone maybe it's called, holding the flywheel together, but it's interesting to note right here all of these jacking slots, and there is, I believe it's air powered, to rotate the engine to get it started. There's a regulator right there. This engine is a uh, six cylinder and the heads are not on. Yeah, here are the heads. Two of the heads, anyway. And you can see the pistons up there. Anyway. 
There's a better view of the pistons. And they've got inspection mirrors up in the ceiling. Used to pump air to force down into the ground to drive the water out of the aquifer in Monroe, Wisconsin. That, of course, is the compressor or pump, and this is the three cylinder two cycle engine. Two flywheels. These Fairbanks engines were made in Beloit, Wisconsin. Here's the lubrication system. And that's the flexible, that is the flexible coupling between the three cylinder engine and the pump. Pistons are. Here's a Fairbanks diesel. 